Recently, I broke off a relationship I had with a guy, a friend of mine, or let me rephrase it, a guy I thought was a friend of mine. I cut off all ties to the man, and I do not only wish to ever speak to him again. And there's a reason for it. You see, I thought that this guy was my friend, okay? Because we'd gotten to know each other over a period of uh, several months, and uh, we'd hung out, and we'd really liked each other. We, we, we just were, you know, simpatico, right? And uh, there had come a point where I'd actually helped him out. I, uh, I kept him from being arrested, <laughs> which is pretty serious, especially considering that this man had a criminal record. And had he been arrested, he would have gone to jail for parole violation. It would have been a very, very serious situation for him. He would have spent uh, several months, if not years, in jail. Uh, this is nothing to sneeze at. And I saved him from that fate. Yeah. But even though I thought we were friends, I decided to break off the relationship. And the reason was very, very clear. In a public setting, on a live stream, as a matter of fact, this man was talking to an individual. And this individual, for reasons of his own, was spreading lies about me. Very serious lies. Uh, you know, smears, really. That's what he was spreading. And this uh, friend of mine, he, he wasn't disputing him. He was just nodding along and like, oh, 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 oh. Not, not doing much, really, to uh, contradict this man who was spreading lies about me. Now, this is very serious because, you see, this friend of mine knew for a fact that what this guy was saying was a lie. And how did he know it was a lie? Because he was there. This guy was saying bullshit about me. I mean, all kinds of bullshit. And my friend was not saying a peep, was not contradicting him, was not saying, hey, that's bullshit. I know it's bullshit because I was there. He wasn't saying that. Instead, he was just hemming and hawing, and the reason was even worse as far as I, I was concerned. The reason was that he was afraid. He was afraid of the guy spreading these malicious smears about me. He was afraid that this guy who was spreading malicious smears about me would wind up spreading malicious smears about him, about my friend, right? And so he basically made a deal with the devil. He decided to just, you know, acquiesce while this asshole smeared me with all kinds of lies. And he just nodded along, you know, like, like oh, you know, he didn't stick up for me. He didn't stand up for me. And that matters. Uh, why does it matter? Very simple. You see, your friends are your representatives out in the world. See, if you're friends with John Smith or Jane Doe or whomever, right? You go out in the world and they go out in the world. And people know that you're friends with John Smith. And so if they speak to John Smith about you, in a very real sense, it's as if they are speaking directly to you. Your friends are your avatars. You see what I'm saying? Now suppose this. Suppose I run into your friend, John Smith, and you and John are real, real tight. And I say to John, hey, I heard that our mutual friend is, um, I don't know, a cannibal. And John Smith doesn't say anything. He's like, uh, uh, yeah, well, I don't know, maybe, maybe not. Uh, what am I going to think? I'm going to think that John Smith is tacitly saying that you're a cannibal, right? Of course, there aren't any cannibals, but you get the point. It could be being a pedophile, being a criminal, being this, that, the other, right? If your friend, John Smith, whom I'm speaking to, just acquiesces and says nothing to things that are not true about you, or worse yet, acquiesces to things that he knows are lies about you. People will believe those lies about you. That's why your friends are so important. And that's why you have to judge them to a standard. See? And my standard is, if my friends or people who associate with me, if they don't stick up for me when I'm not around, then who's going to stick up for me? Hmm? I mean, I'm not there. 
and my friend who knows the truth says nothing, well, everybody's going to believe the lie said about me. What kind of a friend is that? It's no friend at all. A friend who doesn't stick up for you, who doesn't stand up for you, who doesn't correct the record, who doesn't contradict lies said about you. Well, if people think that he's your friend and he doesn't contradict the lies being spread about you, then people believe those lies. You see what I'm saying? And you see how serious it is? It's not like I woke up and said, hey, you know something? I'm going to make my life difficult and uh, blow off this guy I've known for several months. Uh, this guy that I really like, I'm just going to, you know, just totally cut ties with the guy. Yeah, I, I'm going to do it for shits and giggles. Huh? You think I said that this morning? Huh? No, of course not. And it's a very painful decision to have to do this. But it's a necessary decision. It's the decision of a man. See? Because it is far better to be surrounded by enemies than to have a quote-unquote friend who won't defend you in the face of obvious lies. You'll see a lot of this in your life. You'll see a lot of it because it's easy. See? That's the thing. It's easy to acquiesce. It's easy to just shrug your shoulders and not stick up for a friend. Okay? Now, I'm here to tell you, if you don't stick up for your friends, then you're a fucking asshole. Simple as that. Okay? And especially when you know that the bullshit being spread is a lie. You see, if a friend of yours, <laughs> you know for a fact that he killed, I don't know, he killed Mickey Mouse, okay? He killed Mickey Mouse for sure, because you saw him pull out the gun and blow the little mouse away, right? Well, shit, yeah, your, your friend, you know, murdered Mickey Mouse. Right. But if somebody lies about your friend, you got to stick up. It's your measure as a man. If people are spreading lies about your friends. Who are you? That's why I cut off ties with this guy. That's why I don't ever want to speak to him ever again and have anything to do with him. I want people to know that he and I are not friends and not associated with each other. Mm -mm. For any of you who are interested, this is, I'm referring to a man named Ethan Ralph. As far as I'm concerned, he can drop dead and I could give a shit. And I mean that. Because if your friends are not looking after you, they're not protecting you from enemies, then what's the point of having that friend?